guys welcome back to the channel uh, as you can see the powder coating oven has been painted uh, we're right now waiting uh, for our high temp class uh, to continue the build though the door uh, has some imperfections in the finish uh, so the intent here is to uh, actually sand his door down and uh, fix some of these imperfections that are in there from the spot glaze so we'll get to that uh, shortly. So as you can see, I uh, had, had sanded it down, etched it, primed it, and then went ahead and gave it another sanding. I hit it with a rattle cannon just to kind of see how the finish is going to look. Uh, we'll end up having to uh, respray it all, uh, and I won't do it with a rattle can, but I just wanted to see what the finish is going to look like. So we'll let this dry up, and uh, we'll take a look. We might have to uh, lightly sand it again a little bit. And then uh, we'll uh, we'll paint the whole front door again, but uh, I think it's going to look much better. The imperfections are somewhat gone now. So guys, we've got uh, the door prepped and ready to go. So we're going to give it a, another shot of paint. We fixed uh, all the uh, imperfections around the uh, glass uh, opening, so she's looking pretty good. Uh, I did throw some uh, high heat paint on there just to make sure that it looks good. Uh, of course, you can tell the difference. So we'll. Uh, We'll get the paint gun ready and we'll reshoot that door again and uh, she should be perfect and also when we're doing that we're going to go ahead and uh, give our fire pit uh, a shot of high heat paint and that'll uh, finish that off so stay tuned i'll get uh, the garage prepped or the shop prepped and then uh, we'll get ready to rock and roll So what we're actually gonna do now is we're gonna actually put the uh, seal on the door. Uh, we'll start putting this thing back together. Oh, it's blurring up pretty bad. Okay, hopefully we can get that. To... There he goes. So we're gonna put the seal up against the door. You, some guys will use uh, the seal and actually do it on the framing of the oven. I like actually doing it on the actual door itself. Uh, just cleaner in my... Uh, my way of thinking and I'll show you exactly how that's going to go on okay so that's what the seal looks like and uh, cut it with a scissor and we'll uh, we'll get that on there and I'll show you what uh, that's going to look like okay guys so the seals on as you can see all the way around the door Pretty uh, easy to put on. Came out really nice. And once she's stuck on, she's not coming off. Well, let's get to uh, putting the door latches on and then uh, we'll uh, start putting the elements in. Okay guys, so, so these are the, uh, the latches I'm using. As you can tell, they have a release. When you release them and they hook onto the clamp here and it tightens the door they are adjustable uh, they're a little heavy duty you can buy uh, smaller ones if you like uh, this is a large oven so we want to make sure that door is nice and snug and uh, we'll get uh, putting them on I'll show you exactly how I'm gonna do that so with the actual oven what we are actually gonna do is we're actually gonna mount them like so okay so you gotta remember here that we have that two inch piping in behind. So we've got a nice solid surface to, uh, to mount on. We're gonna put one up here and uh, one down there where that space is there. So right in here. Okay, and that should keep that door snug. 
Well, let's, uh, let's mark these. We'll pre-drill and then we'll install them. Okay, so we've got the actual latches uh, mounted, as you can see. And now we have to get the uh, extra part of the, or the other part of the latch that is actually gonna mount to the door. And that's gonna pull the door into the frame. I'll show you how those mount in a second. Okay guys, so we've got uh, the top latch in. It's not uh, adjusted yet. So of course the door is not completely closed. Uh, we'll get uh, the other return clamp mounted and then we'll adjust the door closure and make sure it closes nice and tight. So let me get uh, the other one mounted in and then we'll, uh, we'll adjust the door. Okay guys, so as you can see, I got you a close up here and how this actually mounted. So what we did here now is to adjust it, we're gonna to have to back these all the way off, okay? And then we're gonna tighten these ones here and this is gonna pull the door in, okay? Um, these also have, uh, you wanna make sure you have these ones at the back and these are the ones with the nylon washers built into them. And then this one you'll tighten up against the uh, floating pin. So we'll get tighten them, tighten them up and uh, we'll go from there. Now this one here, uh, the, you need to know that they're actually a 10 mil bolt. Uh, pretty easy. I'll do it by a ratchet, small little ratchet, and we'll uh, we'll get it tightened up. So I wonder if I can hold the camera and uh, show you how I'm going to do that. So this this is uh, how you'll have to tighten it up. So let's get tightening. I'll put the camera down and uh, I'll show you how that's uh, going to pull the door in. Okay. Okay, guys, the latches are in. It's pulled the door tight up against the seam. So it's looking really good. So my suggestion with these things is that uh, once you run the oven the first time, you'll have to make adjustments to them. My suggestion is keeping it really tight for the first uh, couple of runs and then taking a look at the door. You might be able to loosen them back up a little bit once uh, everything kind of settles in and some heat has uh, hit the door. So, but for now, she's looking really good. Awesome. So we're going to get the rails in next uh, and the heat elements back in and wired up and uh, then we'll move on to putting the wiring back into the uh, control panel. Okay guys, so we've got the heat elements mounted back into the oven, the two side rails and the hang rack on the top, including the light. So she's all back together. For the interior, we'll slide the uh, rack back in and then uh, we'll get wiring the uh, control panel back up again. We're getting there. So guys, we've got uh, all the wiring back in place. Uh, did a test run. Everything worked out really, really well. Wow, that's pretty blurry. So we're looking really good. So what we're gonna do now is uh, just clean up this wiring and button up this uh, control panel and uh, we're uh, ready to go. So the next will be just the gloss. And then of course we'll run and we'll do some powder coating and see how this thing works. 
So stay tuned, guys. Let me clean this up, and then I'll show you how it looks when it's all cleaned up. Okay, guys, I've got the control panel all buttoned up. So right now we have it in uh, dual mode, which is the actual two burners uh, just in the back of the oven. Okay, guys, so we'll uh, we'll pop on the third burner. Well, we're almost at temperature at 70 with the two burners. And there's the third burner. All right, so let's go back and let's turn on that fourth burner. And let's turn up the heat requirements. Let's bring it up to 90 for now. There we go. Back down, and then let's open this door up. It'll take a few minutes for that third burner to start, but she should be warming up very quickly. She's looking good, guys. So during that install, I popped the light bulb. Uh, we'll have to put a new light bulb in it, but uh, there she goes. So we'll let that heat up and we'll let that get nice and glowy and we'll take a quick snapshot of it and then uh, we just need uh, our glass and we're ready to rock and roll and uh, let me tell you she's getting warm just standing in front of this thing well she's gonna be a hot oven looking good Hey guys, good morning. So it's the next day and I just got confirmation that uh, our glass is in. So we'll get this oven done today. We're gonna head out and uh, go pick up uh, our order and uh, some high temp silicone just to make sure we have enough to finish this thing off. So stay tuned. Let's go get that glass. Hey guys, so we, uh, we picked up the glass We'll get it uh, brought into the shop, and we'll get ready to rock and roll. Okay, guys. So the game plan here is that we're going to make a brace, okay? So that is basically going to go across here, up, and underneath this lip. So you guys are probably wondering why I left this open. This will unscrew, we'll slide it under and screw it in, and that'll press the glass into place. Uh, before we do that, we will... Uh, silicone, high temp silicone all the way around. I'm going to use some RTV silicone on the top and we're going to use some gasket maker on the sides and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. This is the actual cutout from that window. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it, we'll get the plasma cutter out, we'll cut a couple of sections and then uh, we'll go from there and I'll show you how I'm going to bend that. So I've gone ahead and marked uh, two six inch uh, sections and we'll get the plasma cutter and we'll uh, we'll slice those out. So guys, we got them cut out and uh, just cleaned up. We a quick one too with the grinder. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark them and uh, I'll show you how uh, we're gonna bend them into place, okay?
Okay guys, so we gave these a uh, shot of uh, some high temp paint, both sides, we'll let those cure, and then uh, we'll be able to mount them onto the oven. So let's get the gloss in, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, so we're going to start now. I removed the screw there, I can tell, I actually can tell with uh, the paint in the background. So we'll remove that on top and bottom. So we can slip the uh, braces that we just made. We'll wait for those to dry. Uh, we're gonna get the glass in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run uh, the RT silicone, high temp silicone, heavy base all the way around. And then we're gonna compress the glass in. Now what you wanna try to do is really get a heavy thick coat of that on here. Um, I've got some scrap left or I got a couple of half tubes. I've got some red and uh, some black. I'll use the, the red on the top so you don't see it because the, the plate is going to cover it. And then I'll use the black on, uh, on the sides because you will see that, okay? And I'll show you how I finish that off. Okay guys, so what I'm doing is I had some of the, uh, that's the sealer that we put around the door. So what I'm actually gonna do is put a piece in behind this, okay? So when it leans up against the grass, we don't uh, worry about uh, it being, I guess, too close or uh, touching or getting the metal right on top of it. It'll act like it's a little bit of a buffer. We'll do the same to this one, uh, and then we'll get these mounted in, okay guys? Okay guys, so I've got it uh, siliconed in. As you can see, I used the, uh, the red on the top. We're gonna cover that anyway. And then you can see how I compressed it in. Bottom. Uh, and then what I did is I used these cork spacers that actually come with the gloss. And what I did is I just shoved them in there to make sure that there's nothing is actually touching the corner of the oven. So it's actually sitting on top of the silicone. So that's what you want. You want a slight compression. You want to make sure you got compression. Okay, so the silicone's grabbing on and it's looking good. So let's uh, walk around the other side. Okay, so there you go. And then we'll do a bead on the outside and seal it up perfectly. And I'll show you how I'll do that. First, we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes, let it uh, tack up, and then we'll put the braces that I made in, and then we're good to go.
Okay guys, so she's uh, in completely. We uh, did the bead on the uh, outside of the glass. So now uh, we just gotta let it cure. Once it's cured completely, we'll, uh, we'll clean the gloss. Uh, some of the beading might be slightly uh, off, but that's not a big deal. Once uh, it dries, we'll get an X-Acto knife or a blade and clean it up. But uh, she's looking really good. There she is. So uh, we'll let this cure and then uh, we'll get on to our next project.